Hey folks, it's me, Tim Black here. Check this out. I'm looking at the Ebola virus outbreak. I'm at the Telegraph and I'm looking at this article here. I wanted to share it with you. Victim who sparked fears of global epidemic was on way home to US. The picture that you see there is Patrick Sawyer. Now he was a Liberian. Um, he worked for the Liberian government. He was from Liberia. He's a US citizen. He lived in the US. You know what? I don't know if he was a citizen. I think he was. Um, but he, he lived in the U.S. with his wife in Minnesota, right? So he goes to Liberia to take care of his sister, to see his sister. Um, both him and his wife are from Liberia. His sister, they thought she had malaria. Turns out she had Ebola. She had Ebola. But they didn't know that until she had died. So she dies. He gets on a plane. Uh, to return to the United States and he starts getting sick. He gets sick on the plane and they, they off him in Nigeria and they quarantine the plane, right? He dies in Lagos. Now, people are using this as an indication that the, the, that the virus Ebola could spread to the United States. Um, once again, this was a Liberian government employee. The thing is this, he did not make it to the United States. We have made arrangements with the WHO, World Health, World Health Organization and the CDC, Center for Disease Control, um, to take care of this. As you can see now, Alex Jones, now this isn't the one, he is, he's talking the same old bullshit he always talks about, uh, Scaring people with the with the whole Ebola thing. I'm looking for that particular video that he did because he tried to say that Germany is already infected with this disease. And that's not true. Totally fabricated. Germany has agreed to bring home a doctor who was in Africa who has been infected with Ebola. They are setting up their facilities so they can treat the doctor, right? But it's not an accidental arrival. They know he's coming. They have agreed to bring him home to treat him because part of surviving Ebola, which has a kill rate of 25 to 90%, is early detection and proper treatment. So hopefully they can save the man's life. But that, that doesn't matter, Alex Jones, because Alex Jones has no soul. That's right, no soul. I think it was this one, Ebola outbreak, a manufactured, manufactured false flag. See, he just, he just doesn't give a shit. He just, he wants to scare you and scare you and scare you and scare you. If he can't scare you, he knows he can't get views. Um, let's, see we, let's see if we can pull up a few of the symptoms of the Ebola. Now, it's limited to parts of Africa right now, and that's the way they want to keep it, obviously. Don't want it to spread, but this is the, what it looks like on your body. A hemorrhagic rash appears over entire body. Entire body covered in these blistering sores. Let me see if I can blow that up a little bit. Maybe 150 would do it. Yeah. You should be able to see that pretty good now. That's kind of an obvious sore. I mean, it's not like, you know, a fever blister. One of them. Let's see if we can get some more information on the, the you know, of being able to determine if you have it. What it looks like. All right. Once again, it's in New Guinea, or Guinea, not New Guinea, Guinea, and Sierra Leone. That's where it's at. Um, Ebola virus, typical path through a human being. An outbreak of the deadly Ebola virus has killed at least 59 people in Guinea. Ebola is spread by close contact and kills between 25 and 90% of victims. There is no cure or vaccine. So day seven through nine, you get a headache, fatigue, fever, muscle soreness. See, that's why it can be, it can appear to be malaria, right? Day 10, sudden high fever, vomiting blood, passive behavior, so vomiting blood. Day 11, bruising, brain damage, bleeding from nose, mouth, eyes, anus. Day 10, loss of consciousness, seizures, massive internal bleeding, and death. So yeah. Ebola is a life-threatening disease. This virus kills. But are we in danger of it coming here? 
to either the UK or to the United States? Not really, right? We have facilities set up to treat the people that we're bringing here to treat. And we have time to do that in a, in a constructive way that we can lessen the chances of there being any problems, right? But it's just that these guys like Alex Jones who just, you know, just try to scare the hell out of people for views, it's unnecessary, and I just thought I'd put this video out there. Thank you, uh, Chain Reaction, for sending me the note asking me to do this story. Um, I'd seen information on it. I didn't realize that hardly anyone was really covering it, and I'm glad, I'm glad you made the suggestion, man. Anyway, guys, that's it, man. Nothing to be afraid of here. Be more afraid of diabetes. Be more afraid of, uh, I don't know, cancer from smoking damn cigarettes. Be more afraid of that shit than to be afraid of the Ebola virus. I'm Tim Black. This is Tim's Take Live. We got a lot of other shit to be worried about. Way to go, Alex. You have no soul. <laughs>